Hello guys, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be looking at something a little different than normal on the channel. It's a Nintendo fanboy, and he's incredibly salty about how well the Steam Deck is doing, and he just can't handle the fact that compared to it, the Nintendo Switch is very underpowered. I, I mean, not saying that the Switch is a weak console by any means, it's just it's not as powerful as a PC version of the Switch, the Steam Deck. So let's get into it. Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I, the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King Dia, Lauren Frey, Grim Clover, Internet Blood Sports, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. So, Review Tech USA made an interesting statement on live stream um, yesterday evening, I believe it was. When did I watch this? It was like 4 or 5 o'clock. I, I have no idea what it was. So I, I tune in for five seconds uh, to ask him why he hates Nintendo so much. And uh, he's talking about the Steam Deck, uh, specifically the reality of the Steam Deck, uh, specifically the fact that it can't run Halo Infinite at the, uh, at the frame rate that he wants. It's like under 30 FPS or something. He's calling it like unoptimized. He's saying it doesn't run well. He uninstalled Halo Infinite. Uh, updates don't help. Uh, the game just seems completely unplayable on Steam Deck. That would be because Halo Infinite isn't optimized for the Steam Deck or PC. Not every game is going to launch optimized perfectly, and that just so happens to be the case with Halo Infinite. If it isn't playable on the Steam Deck after update, then what would possess you or anyone else to think that uninstalling it and reinstalling it is going to help? So uh, this was a really interesting uh, tidbit for me to hear, because first of all, uh, this is Rich pulling back the curtain a little bit, talking a little bit about the, the problems of the Steam Deck, a, a platform that was supposedly going to be the next iPhone. Like uh, That was ridiculous when he said it, but now, like seeing him... One of the big things, uh, one of the big arguments in favor of the Steam Deck was that it was going to be the uh, it was going to be able to play the games that the the Switch would be too weak to handle. But with Halo Infinite not running well, uh, confirmed to not be running well by a by a supposed tech expert at Review Tech USA, like that narrative is dead. And I am well aware that's also the case with like a wide range right a variety of other games, especially those that are emulated. Halo Infinite not running well isn't a problem with the Steam Deck, it's a problem with Halo Infinite. Not only does it not run well on the Steam Deck, it also doesn't run well on the highest NPCs from what I've been able to gather. Now to be fair, you can set the graphic settings to be low, but remember, if PCs that are the best today can't even run it well at max settings, then that's a problem with the game, not the hardware. Furthermore, yes, the Switch is too weak to play certain games. Case in point, Elden Ring. People who are saying that, like, they're emulating uh, Switch games, like, uh, before launch date are, are full of shit. <laughs> you know? Like, uh, lots of people are getting called out for this on 4chan. Like, I, I saw a comment the other day where uh, someone, like, tried to start, like, a Steam Deck emulation thread. What are you decking? And then, like, somebody pointed out, like, why are you in the very first room of the game? <laughs> like, it, it becomes, like, readily obvious that... It's not possible to get past, like, uh, certain sections of the game, uh, get past the first room, or the title screen even, without, like, the game crashing or, like, having some kind of stuttering or some major issues that make the experience uh, not worthwhile at all and it uh, inferior to the legitimate Nintendo Switch version. Actually, some Switch games have been running at a perfectly playable rate such as Super Mario Odyssey and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and those are the two most demanding games available for the Switch right now, as far as I know. Also, has it ever occurred to you that the emulator crashing or not being able to pass the first room in a game could be piracy protection? You know that stuff still exists in games, right? All right, like, people don't want to admit this, but uh, Nintendo Switch is superior to Steam Deck. No, it isn't. And... and and currently, we're, we're kind of in that, like, denial phase, I think, where, like, uh, steampunks, uh, the Deckers, or, or whatever the fuck they're calling themselves now, like, uh, they are in complete denial about the fact that the Steam Deck is a failure. I mean, yeah, if you consider the fact that the Steam Deck sold over a million units since launch, then yeah, I guess that would be a failure to a Nintendo fanboy. Seriously though, people are gonna buy this thing for games like Elden Ring and other high-end games because they'll be able to play their PC games, their high-end PC games, on the go. How many of those same games can the Switch run again? Not too many, if I had to guess. 
sales aren't impressive. Software uh, retention isn't, uh, isn't impressive. Uh, its library is not impressive. It can't play all the games on Steam. Of course it can't run all the games on Steam. Not every game on Steam was made with the Steam Deck in mind, but of the ones that can be played on it, like Elden Ring, then who cares? You get something. And anyways, the Nintendo Switch can't seem to run every Switch game without problems. Remember Mortal Kombat 11? Yeah, and I think that's a really big thing, that like the Steam Deck, a platform that was supposed to be like a uh, a handheld gaming PC that can play every every Steam game on the go, cannot run everything on Steam. You're not even getting into like the emulation or like the uh, the piracy or any of like any of the weird shit people are doing. No, like you will not be able to play every game that's on Steam on your Steam Deck, and I think that's like downright pathetic, honestly. Like, really? Valve couldn't have released a console, a platform that could run everything currently on Steam? I, I, I don't I don't understand where, where was the logic in that. And uh, I, I, I pri also don't understand why it's not something that's, like, become controversial in the community. Because it is true. It, it is, like, the reality of the situation. The Steam Deck cannot compete with Nintendo Switch. It doesn't have, like, the capacity... To, uh, to run emulators or to like run the big AAA games. Uh, there's no reason to own one over a much more affordable Nintendo Switch. Valve never said that the Steam Deck was going to be able to play every single game on Steam. You can even get on Steam itself and scroll down to a certain part of the game's specifics and it will tell you, in plain English, whether or not that game can be played on the Steam Deck. Also, if the Steam Deck can't run it, what in God's name possesses you to think that the Nintendo Switch can? Don't act like, not to be a douche here, but don't act like the Switch is God's greatest gift to Earth, my guy. And this is coming from a huge Nintendo Switch fan, by the way. And anyway, who cares if every Steam game isn't playable on the Steam Deck? There are way more than enough games from Steam that are playable on the Steam Deck that are entertaining enough to keep one occupied for a while. Another thing to consider is that not everything on Steam will run on PC either, and I should know, as I have more than enough experience to back that up. Space Quest Collection! Lastly, the capacity of the Steam Deck comes in, I believe, 64GB, 128GB, 256GB, and 512GB storage systems. Furthermore, you can add more storage space if you use an SD card. Do you not have a PC that you can use? Because if so, then you should know these things, champ. With uh, its own exclusive lineup of games, there, there's no reason to own a own a Steam Deck. Like, if you need to play Steam, like your ideal choice would be your own gaming PC. Like the Steam Deck from the get go seemed like a uh, a piece of hardware that was that was designed to like annoy Nintendo fans, right? Like that, that's kind of what this all boils down to is that like PC gamers were salty that like Nintendo fans were like going out, uh, meeting girls with their Switches, and while they stayed home and, and jacked off to hentai, whatever, on their, like, $2,000 gaming rigs, right? Like, they were jealous. They were salty. So they just really tried to hype this thing up, try to meme it into into relevancy, and it just didn't work. And, and that, that it's kind of curious to me, because it, it really does feel like PC gaming the steampunks, like, they are, like, a dying breed. I, I don't understand why anyone would pay for um, a game on Steam when you could, like, get a get a proper copy on Nintendo Switch. You have the option for, like, physical. You have, like, more versatility. You have, like, a uh, better variety of, uh, of choice, like, a selection of games. Like, there, there was no reason, really, to prefer PC over Switch unless you're a blind, dedicated Valve fan. Okay, so I was going to make a joke about watching hentai on these $2,000 PCs and about the hentai being HD and realistic and how he needs to watch his god dang mouth about the hentai. But then I'm like, nah, I don't want to get in trouble. Anyway, the Steam Deck was not designed to annoy Nintendo fans. And can you name these so-called Steam fans who were salty because the Switch boys were out there getting some kitty cat and they had to burp the worm to hentai? Also, why jerk to hentai on PC when you can do it on your phone in the tub? Sorry, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, no, nobody memed the Steam Deck into relevancy. It managed to do that on its own without anyone's help. As for PC gaming being a dying breed, it isn't. PC gaming isn't going anywhere for a while, and besides, you can't play every game out there on the Switch. 
Also, not every game on the Switch is physical, and that's one of the problems that I, a huge Nintendo Switch fan, has with the Switch, is that not every game is physical. Even though it has a case, there's no game inside, merely a download code. And if you're forced to buy it digitally anyway, why not buy it from Steam? There's a, also a crap ton of variety of games on the Steam Deck, not to mention on PC Steam, to play. Anyways, with that last paragraph, we have come to the end of Harmon's video, which means that we have come to the end of my god-awful video. Before we go, though, I just want to let you all know that I was going to make another joke about burping the worm to hentai, but I'm not gonna. Not until I have the subscribers to make Susan let me off the hook with a mere warning. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Have a good one, and bye bye for now.